Welcome to Sports Beat. From Little League to high school and from college to the pros, Sports Beat covers it all. And here's your host, Justin Cabe. And welcome to Sports Beat this morning, where I'm being joined by the powerlifting team. Um, we're going to take a quick break, listen to some commercial from a few of our sponsors, and when we come back, we will find out what's going on with powerlifting. High strength military grade aluminum alloy body makes it up to 700 pounds lighter. And with less of its own lard to move around, it can move more of yours. 12,200 pounds. The most towing of any half ton pickup. The all new Ford F 150. The future of tough. Go by Stanley Ford Lincoln located at 1708 Lubbock Road in Brownfield or call 637 7541. Stanley Ford Lincoln. You're just a short drive from Big Savings. Football and brisket, blue bonnets in springtime. In Texas, some things are better together. Like a Texas Farm Bureau insurance where a home policy just isn't the same without auto coverage to help bring your rates down. The state fair and fine stuff? <laughs> Can't have one without the other. Moments worth covering are never accidents. Call us today at 806-637-2504 or stop by our Brownfield location at 521 West Main. Discounts may vary by situation. Linegar Electric Cooperative is behind the Cubs all the way. We know the Cubs can be depended on just like Linegar with over 60 years of service. We are proud to call Terry County our home, someone who takes pride in offering the people they serve the very best. Linegar Electric Cooperative says, go get them Cubs. Cotton farmers, from planting to harvest, you nurture your crop. At harvest, you want to use Meadow Farmers Co-op Gin. Since its beginnings in 1935, Meadow Farmers Co-op has prided itself in fast, courteous service to our customers. We provide complete ginning service from the field to the marketing of your crop through PCCA and the SEAM marketing system. Call 806-539-2241 or come by Meadow Farmers Co-op to learn about our service and commitment to you. Meadow Farmers Co-op, celebrating 80 years of service to Terry County. All right, and welcome back to Sports Beat this morning. We're being joined by the powerlifting team. Coach, how are you this morning? Doing very good. Coach, let's go ahead and uh, let's talk a little bit about powerlifting and how the season's been going so far. we got a good bunch of uh, boys and girls. They've come together as a family. You know, we always use the motto, where we go when we go all, you know. And, and they have taken to it and they grasped it. Uh, girls throughout in our little co-op meet that we have uh, have come up runner up at every at every meet even the Abernathy and Invitational uh, so I'm, I'm real pleased with them I know Coach McElroy has done a good job he uh, he wishes he could be here right mm-hmm. now but he's not but uh, as we do things we we kind of take care of the little things and everything else falls into place our guys I'll tell you on the the guy side, you know we've we've done a good job. I mean we've had a couple of lifters that that really stood out, and as a group in general, you know our our progress is building up, and that's what we've done with our with our boys. I think last night we came in at was it fifth? Yeah, we came in fifth out of out of seven teams. If we had a kid that made made weight, he was point four pounds over. If he'd have made weight with his totals, we'd have gotten third. Nice. But we that's the what if. Right. Well, uh, let's start right here, uh, Maria, right? Yes. All right. Let's start right here. I'm going to go around, and I want all of you all to answer this question. What do you like most about powerlifting? Mm, just, like, the confidence that it gives me, knowing that I have the ability to do that much weight. And yeah, that's pretty much what I can think of right now. Um, (laughs) I love the feeling you get whenever you pick up a weight and you set it down and you're just like, whoa, that was like, that was like 200 something pounds or that was like 500 pounds. Like, I like the feeling of surprising your own self. Mm -hmm. I really like the challenge that gives me it with powerlifting. Like, I don't think about it. 
until I get there, until I do my weight, and after I just, I have this, I'm all struck, like, I, there's like this big, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just a big feeling that I've always loved since last year. Alfredo? Um, I'll, I was not very into powerlifting. I, I wasn't even supposed to be in it this year, or I didn't think so. Uh, they kind of dragged me into this. <laughs> 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 really, uh, coaches said just get into, get in there and get in the meeting. So I got it. I get into it. I was supposed to get in last year, but I, I didn't want to. I didn't think I was doing do so good. But what I like about it is that to know that um, there's somebody there to that. There's, it's like a family. There's so always they're always there to support you, and they're they're always watching over you. And that's what I like about it. There you go. It helps me clear my head just lifting weights. But getting everything off your mind, everything from school, all the drama and everything. It just, just I've been lifting ever since I've been in athletics, seventh grade. I've always been one of the t- top ones in my grade. It just, it just helps me through life. Uh, I like the support that we give each other and the love we have for each other. Stay right here. Uh, what's and we'll go back this way. What is? I don't know if I'd say the worst part about powerlifting, the hardest part about powerlifting. I mean, either way you want to answer that question. Um, the har- hardest part is where you don't get what you usually get, like the weight. The weight. Hardest part for me. I can't clear my head, and sometimes you just need to take a break. Then, mostly the hardest part is probably how much, how many reps your coach wants you to do. It's a struggle. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I was listening to. Uh, no, the hardest part for me is that like um, when you're up there and you you're up there to lift and you're up there to see what your max is and when you turn around and when you're when you're up there in your spot you're ready to lift and you go down and you can't pick it up and once you lift it you see the people that like you disappointed and how much how much you you didn't do or you know that that rep that you didn't get up it's usually the rep that you always get but you couldn't get it that time because something wasn't right or your mind was upset and that's like one of the hardest things for me to just disappoint the people around me the hardest part for me is when I get into my own head. Mm-hmm. It's for me it's a mind over matter. Like if I think I can't do it, I won't do it. So it's just a confidence thing for me. Um the hardest part is I underestimate myself greatly and or I like I don't know, I overshoot it, I guess. Um but coach is always talking about the bar never lies and it's never going to change. So I mean, if I get it one day, I'm going to get it the other day. I think that's the biggest thing. Oh, for me, um, it's kind of like the disappointment of knowing that you can get this weight, but whenever you go, it just feels like like where what happened. Like I got this the other day, and then today I can't do it. And it just like makes you like think of everything, like overthink everything, and then you just get so distracted, and then you're not ready for the rest of your lifts and then it just like downhill from there and then whenever I get yelled at that's part of the worst thing because I, <laughs> I, I do not do good under pressure <laughs> <laughs> all right I don't care who answers this question but for people out there that are listening that really don't know what goes on at a powerlifting meet explain to our listeners what y'all do at a powerlifting meet I don't care who answers it just yeah. one of y'all answer I, I got this you unless do? you got it uh, right. It doesn't matter. You want to finish it on you? Know what it is. Yeah. Like, explain what goes on? Yeah, explain what goes on in a parallel. Well, I mean, like a meet start from finish. Oh, start to finish? All right. Well, you walk underneath your team, you know, got all your weights, got your bags. Um, you go and you weigh yourself. And if your weight isn't what the coach needs you to be, then you're running laps or doing jump ropes. Or eating. <laughs> or eating, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then you go away yourself, and you have about two hours to just clear your mind, get your head right. Focus and stretch. Mm-hmm. Yes, stretch. <laughs> um, then you have <laughs> you have all this time to jump in a singlet, and for anybody who's ever been in a singlet, 
you know exactly what that feels like. It ain't fun. And <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, it's all, over yes, all cut arm. up. <laughs> um, yes. You you get all your stuff, you get your number. Uh, after you're warmed up, the you all line up at the rack. Squat rack first. Yeah, squat rack first. <laughs> and they'll call your number up and you're just like, Okay, this this is happening. You go in the rack and you squat. And if you it's, three lights. it's really difficult yeah. to explain. There's yeah, three, three lights. Three white lights. Three three or two. Majority white lights. So and there's a total of three white. There's mm-hmm. three lights. Yes. There's three six lights. lights. Three judges. There's three red and three white. You want majority white light or you don't get the lift and it doesn't count. You scratch. You have three judges watching you from all angles, making sure that you got like the correct form. Depth. <laughs> depth and making sure that. You like, don't take a step. Yeah, you, you don't. Do you have you can't like, move your arms. You're in, you're in command <laughs> for mm-hmm, everything. Yeah. They'll they'll you, tell they'll you. make sure you're set. Then you that's how you squat. <clears throat> you squat. You have to wait for your caller to say down, 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 up. Once they say up, you'll go up. If you can't get it, they'll like yeah, rack it for you. Yeah. yeah, they'll rack it for you. The spotters will. There's three spotters too. Yeah, there's three spotters, there's three spotters, two sides, two sides and one back. So that's a lot of people around one. Just watching squat you. rack. Just help watching. You. It's the a reason safety there's a, precaution. Exactly. It's a right. safety precaution. It, everything's based on vocal command, visual command. And when these girls come up or these guys get to a bar, they have to mentally get themselves ready. Every, every individual is different. Mm-hmm. You know, one could be like, you know, you give them some phrases to kind of motiv- get them intrinsically motivated. And some you, yell at me. some you can't. <laughs> you know, everybody's different. Uh, w- one thing, either it's myself, Coach McElroy, or myself, I might tell Maria or Hawkins something because I'll tell Rachel what time is it, and she'll say – Hawk time. Hawk time <laughs> as we go in there. Uh, Alfredo, he loves for me to, yesterday, encourage him in a certain demeanor, and he gets motivated. But sometimes I don't tell Alfredo much because he – himself gets himself psyched. Diego is another one. Really don't have to say much to to Diego because at times, it's like anybody anybody here when they're a power lifter, your own worst enemy is in between your two ears. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think you can't, you go to the bar because it has you seeing an amount of weight there, you know, 100 pound plates and then you got another 45 on the other side and another, you know, it's, it's a mental, it's a mental block and if you can overcome that, and achieve at least some type of momentum going in there, you you have a chance. And yesterday, uh, Jesus Garza, I forgot, we forgot you forgot to mention your name, Jesus Garza uh, was ill yesterday. So we had to uh, kind of like take a step back, and he fought through it, got his three totals, because if he didn't total yesterday, he wouldn't have qualified for regionals because mm-hmm. you got to post two meets. You got to post two totals at two meets, and uh, he fought through that yeah, and he got third place yesterday. Good with what he's done. But like I said, everybody's different, and you treat everybody different. And the one thing we we talk about is is trust, truthfulness, and respect, and that's what we build our core principles on. Well, um, let's take a short break again. Listen to a few more from our sponsors. And when we come back, I want to know more about how y'all determine how much weight to put on for each squat, bench, and and deadlift. So uh, we'll be right back and find out more about powerlifting. Do you have a dental problem? Then go see Dr. Colley. Dr. Colley is a second-generation West Texas dentist, locally owned and operated for 27 years. Dr. Colley is an honors graduate of the University of Texas Dental School. He, along with his talented staff and newest technology, can take care of any of your family's dental needs. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and give them a call at 806-637-8386 or drop by at 1307 Tahoka Road in Brownfield. Dr. Colley, where West Texas hospitality begins with a smile. Meadow ISD, providing a pathway to success. 
We are once again a Texas Education Agency recognized school district and our accomplishments over the past 2009-2010 school year include success in sports, academics, UIL, One Act Play and more. At Meadow we are challenging our students to be the best both in and out of the classroom. Visit our website at meadowisd.net. Since 2008, All Star Penis has worked hard to meet the needs of peanut producers and livestock owners with chemicals, seed supplies, and supplies for your livestock needs. Owned and operated by your Terry County farmers, All Star Peanuts handles peanuts from the field to the warehouse. They're commissioned by Golden Peanuts and are a proud supporter of your Terry County livestock exhibitors. Give manager J.R. Cut a call at 806-637-1866. All Star Peanuts, your place for quality service. Maypay Farms is proud to support the Wellman Union Wildcats and Lady Cats. From athletics to academics, success can be found everywhere, and we commend students on their character and commitment. We believe that the community of Wellman was built on hard work and dedication, and are happy to see that the tradition of excellence is more evident than ever in our outstanding students who set the bar high and achieve greatness. From all of us at Maypay Farms, have a great year, Wildcats. We're behind you all the way. And welcome back to Sports Beat. All right. So here's the toughest question, unless it's was who the first president was, but that was. <laughs> 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 but uh, how do you determine how much weight to put on the bar? Well, basically, what we do, we kind of it, it's a gradual process. Um, we pre, we kind of at the beginning of the season kind of matched, see where they're at, to the point where. Uh, when they get ready for a meet, we, I bring them in individually, and this is where your max is at. On our first lift, even with Coach McElroy, we talk about our first lift being a confidence builder, okay? And then our second lift, at times we attack our max or we PR, you know, and PR is a, what do we call PR? Personal, Personal record. record. Personal record, which if our max was 220, our sec, you know, our first lift will go maybe 200 because you know you can do it. Right. And just to get on the board. Mm -hmm. So on the second lift, we want a PR and we'll go five pounds over. Or it just depends. You know, Coach McElroy's with the girls. And he, or he, jump I, 40. <laughs> yeah. He'll jump, yeah. He'll jump based on what you did that first lift. And sometimes – but the <laughs> but the, but the thing about it is we have a plan mm -hmm. that we go into. And, and then our third lift, depending on how you do on your second, because that should be a PR or right on your max, we'll – it's just, a, Gage. It's, it's just an estimate of what you think you can do. Yes. I feel like that third lift is more confidence and more trust that you have in yeah. yourself than with mm -hmm. what yes. it really is. My lift is always just what I want, what I'm determined to get. Yeah. It's, it's like a, it's, it's a goal set for what you want to lift. Powerlifting sounds like a lot of a mental. Yes, it's a mental it sport. <laughs> mental sport. You, you go against yourself more than you go against other people. Just yeah. trying to better yourself in, mm -hmm. in your personal records and stuff like that and the thing we talk about we don't worry about what everybody else is doing we worry about ourselves and no matter where we rank as long as we're getting prs throughout the throughout the board as far as uh squad you know bench and deadlift that's what we're worried about and uh, i'll tell you this majority of our girls when they go in there they know what they're doing when it comes to that like when coach tries to get in our heads Saying she's gonna beat you, she wants to beat you. Mm -hmm. She's and coming. She's time, coming. <laughs> every time he goes up to me, I just tell him, "I'm like nobody intimidates me but me." I tell him, "I better myself every day, and nobody's gonna be better than that." Yes, uh, I'll tell you this much: every individual is different, and when you deal with it, it's just like your sons or daughters, or you know, if you have any, uh, that you treat everybody in their own manner. Some you knew, Coach Mack would tell you with the girls. He, they're like our daughters, you know, and and these young men are like our sons. And the worst thing that we don't want to see is fail, mm -hmm. you know. Failure is not an option. And one of our models as we go into we go into the season, failure to prepare is preparing for failure. Mm -hmm. You know, if we don't put the work into it, you know, some individuals don't go to practice. We're going to have a makeup work, you know, because it's a mental thing. So, so to qualify for regionals, what has to happen? You have, you have to be 10? top twelve. And Region? Um, uh, in our division. We're region one, division two, two, two which is all 4A. 
And with the girls, it's top ten, top ten, or post a total amount based on all three lists. You know, and and the totals mm -hmm. uh, they're out there. I mean, they're really out there because we look at them and like, mm. but most of us qualify, don't? Yeah, we? yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of uh, most of our girls qualify. You know, we well, will know Sunday, 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 Sunday night Put where we're at. And then uh, these girls that are right here, we're already sitting in top six. Yo, good. And, and our division, Region 1, Division 2, our guys, we got one more meet. Our meet Brownfield. Thursday is the last qualifying meet. And it's in Brownfield, correct? In Brownfield, right there at the Fieldhouse. The Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse. Room. And like I said, there's individuals here that can't qualify for regionals, you know. So, uh, like I said with the boys, top 12 in your division, I mean, in your weight class, or post a total. And with the girls, it's top 10. Or a total amount. So uh, after regionals is state, right? Yes, yes. sir. You got to be top two for that too. Top two. Top two in the region. So uh, how's everybody ranking on looking at going to state? Uh, um, as of now, we need a lot of so work. far that we know in my class, I'm tied for fourth. For fourth. Uh, I'm in sixth. And I'm ninth. Um, right now, I think I'm in fourth. I don't know what I am right now, but last time I checked, I was in fifth, right? Fourth. Fourth? Yeah, fifth. Well, it was fourth. Well, there you <laughs> go, we're tied. Yeah, we were tied for fourth. I was in two spots. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had two different weight classes. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and and Jesus was sitting, hold on. Jesus was sitting at, you posted, because it was your first meet, his totals are probably, probably top 20. But yeah. remember, he, his three lifts, we just went. How did we go on your three lifts? Um, pretty, light. pretty light, just to gain the confidence. Just to gain the confidence, because, like I said, and to get on the board and get some totals posted. Yeah, I know he's a little shy, but you. Yes, that's what I call the 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 silent the silent killer. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's good. He's not much of a talker. He's a yes sir, no sir kind of individual, and right now he's humbled by just being here. That's that's all right. I don't mind that at all. So, uh, what other sports are y'all involved in besides powerlifting? Because I know most of y'all are probably involved in something else, aren't y'all? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You can start, Jesus. Oh. You got the mic. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in football, powerlifting, track, soccer. And that's it. Band. Oh, band. Band. <laughs> <laughs> Easily forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I just do football. Powerlifting and track and field. Uh, <coughs> oh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I'm, I'm involved in um, cross country, football, track and field, powerlifting, and in band, and in soccer. I guess we'll pass the mic around. Oh, we're no, we don't have to. Y'all got that one right in front of you. <laughs> like, yeah. You can get that back to Diego. Yeah. <laughs> um, I train year round powerlifting. So Are you involved own. in anything else at the school? I'm a student trainer for okay. football, okay. but that's it. <laughs> and powerlifting. That works. Um, I just do powerlifting, track and field, band. Yeah. You're good at field events, right? Triple yes, jump, that's where it's jump. at. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> See, seeing you sit here makes me feel old because your dad was my principal. So oh, my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know his principal in 2007. Where in 2008, here, here in Brownfield. He was, he was the principal my senior year of high school, so. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know your dad was a principal. What, why did he what? <laughs> no, he's uh, su assistant superintendent at Hobbs. At Hobbs. Hobbs. We get off topic quick. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one was my, take my life that story. <laughs> that one was my fault. <laughs> 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 Maria. Uh, I, I just run. I like saying that I do the sports that are like, and this sounds kind of bad, but, like, the ones that no one really cares about. Because <laughs> <laughs> I run cross country, and then I do powerlifting, and then I, I, run, I used to run distance for track, and now they took me out of distance, and I just throw and just do throw. field events. That is true. Nobody cares about us. <laughs> <laughs> You're That's not true. Look, I have y'all here with me right now. <laughs> but it's but just because, like, like, school. Like, everybody's like, hey, Like, cross country, it takes, off. like, Two hours for everyone to finish, and well, then I mean powerlifting takes like four hours. A good eight, seven eight, hours. Good <laughs> seven. Tracks like all day. It's like the. We start at four, don't end until like 10. 
<laughs> and then I might be playing golf this year. I don't know. Might be playing golf. No, good, good, fine. Well, let's go to one more commercial break, get the last of our commercials out of the way, and when we come back, uh, I'll let everybody kind of go around the room and give a shout-out to whoever you all want to give a shout-out to and yes. say thanks to whoever you want to say thanks to. So uh, we'll be right back with that here on Sports Beat. Hey, uh, let me finish this text. Okay, I'm good. If you're like me in the morning, you're busy. Sorry, I had to shave. And brush my teeth. Like I said, busy, busy, busy. Ah, that was a nice shower. But one thing you should never be too busy for in the morning, okay, pal, fetch, is a real breakfast at McDonald's. All right, now we got to run, literally. Training for a marathon. Make a busy morning better with a real breakfast, like a classic Egg McMuffin sandwich, crispy golden hash browns, and a freshly brewed McCafe coffee. Hello, can't talk now. I'm busy. Yep, doing a jingle. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's. Excellence, achievement, dedication. These are all qualities that describe the students at Wellman Union. That's why Southwest Cotton Growers is proud to cheer on the Wildcats and Lady Cats in all they do. As the largest cotton gin in Terry County, we know what it takes to accomplish your goals, and it all starts with working hard and supporting others. Call manager Kenny Underwood at 806-637-4665 to see how Southwest Cotton Growers can help you this ginning season. We love our customers and our Wildcats and look forward to being a part of your success this season. Texas Ag Plus at 1670 U.S. Highway 62385 wants your irrigation repair business. Jake Unger offers you a full line of irrigation parts as well as pump cells, ditching, PVC pipe, and just about anything else related to irrigation on your farm. Locally owned and operated, Texas Ag Plus is here to serve the producer. From start to finish, we want to be the one you think of first when it comes to servicing your irrigation needs. Call Texas Ag Plus at 637-4590. Hi, this is Aaron Waldrop, Superintendent at Wellman Union ISD, home of 265 fighting wildcats and growing. At Wellman Union, we're proud of our consistently high academic standards and we strive daily to provide a safe, family-style atmosphere. We're proud to offer free, dual-credit courses for our high school students with the opportunity to graduate with up to 60 hours, completely debt-free. We're also excited to introduce our new facility and continue our goal of providing a fun, memorable experience for all students. Visit our website or like us on Facebook to stay up to date on the latest Wildcat news. Wellman Union ISD, building on success for today and the future. All right, and we're back with Sports Because for us, we'll start with you. You want to give anybody a shout out? Yes, I want to give uh, uh, shout outs to uh, my wife. She always supports us, my family. The big guy upstairs, because without him, nothing's possible. And uh, Coach McElroy. Uh, he 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 gets a big big shout out, you know. <laughs> other than that, you know, uh, Coach Welbs uh, for giving me the opportunity and uh, our principal, our principal. All right, Jesus, you're up. Shout out uh, to all the people that supports us and shows us love. All right, Diego. I like to sh- shout out to my older brother because. He keeps me motivated to stay in school and keep doing great things in athletics. And I want to give a huge shout out to my mom because she's she raised me on her own, basically. And she um, she made me the man I am today. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to um, Ray because uh, he if. If he wouldn't told me to get in this, I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't get into uh, powerlifting. Also, um, he's one of the people that motivated me to do my best, even though he's not here and he moved. He was a really good friend. But also, I want to give a shout out to all the people that didn't believe that I could do it. That's okay. how I see. <laughs> um, <coughs> I want to give a shout out to my whole team. I love y'all guys. <laughs> and. Thank you. A chunkla, <laughs> uh, especially Marema. She didn't make it yesterday because she was sick. And my whole family, especially my older cousin Peter, he always motivates me to do my best no matter what. He pushes me until I can't go no more. Um, I like to give a shout out to <laughs> my family because they have so much going on. Well, my brother's playing basketball on the same days as the meets, and yet they still made it there. <laughs> my little brother Aaron, he's my little good luck charm. Um, I'd also like to thank (laughs) 
um, the coaches, everybody who puts this all together, like That's behind funny. the scenes, um, and my friends. They're always sending me these little encouraging little texts when I need it the most. Just thank you guys. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my parents and my brother and my sisters and my nieces and nephews for always like looking up to me and believing in me and to all my teachers and coaches that always give me the encouragement that I need and positivity and to my best friends Michaela and Mercedes because they always help me hype me up and even when they have other things going on they're always there for me too. I want to say one more I, I, right. I have to give a last shout out to the the school personnel Ms. Vela uh, and Mrs. Chastine and uh, they are always reminding paperwork. I ask for student, I ask for the athletes. And they get a chance to come by the classroom so we can brainstorm their lifts. And they're always putting up with me. And <laughs> you know, everybody in general. And our head trainer, Darla Gleaves, always making sure we're doing what we need to, making sure our doc. body doc, making sure our bodies are well enough so we don't get hurt. Well, guys, I thank y'all for uh, being on with me this morning on Sports Beat. Um, reminder that the boys have a l- meet here in Brownfield next week. Yes, Thursday. 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 So next Thursday, the boys have a meet here in Brownfield at the Field House. Go out and support them. If you have never seen a powerlifting meet, go out, watch, and uh, check it out and see what's going on. Um, I will try to be out there and get some pictures of y'all lifting, so uh, we'll get those posted online as well. Yes, sir. So uh, thank you all again for coming in this morning. Uh, This has been Sports Beat, and uh, we'll be back next Friday, um, hopefully previewing a little baseball. So uh, we'll be back next Friday with that. So this has been Sports Beat, and I'm your host, Justin Cabe. Thanks for tuning in to Sports Beat. From interviews with local coaches and players to collegiate and professional news, tune in to Sports Beat every Friday at 9.30 a.m. If there's a person of interest or a story that you want covered, send an email to sports at towntalkradio.com.